Hello guys, uh, welcome to today's lecture. My name is Hadi and today I'm going to talk about the uh, increment operator, decrement operator and also loop repetition structure, uh, while loop. So guys, uh, let's go through the slides. First we have uh, incremental increment operator. This is also a unary operator. I have told you that when we say unary operator, it means it use only one uh, op uh, operand it, it itself, just like a, a unary operator. This is uh, just like a not operator in conditional operators. Here, in increment operator, this is also a unary operator. Here, we have one variable which is counter, and uh, plus plus is the increment operator which increase the counter value which is an integer increase it by one counter for example it might be 10 when you use counter plus plus it will make it 11 this is actually same as counter equals to counter plus one so it's uh, a little bit uh, more operation just first you are going to uh save one then counter then you are going to add them then you are going to assign it to the counter this it, it takes too much time for a computer but counter press plus it just incremented by one so we have also decrement operator it's also the same but it's decremented by one reduce the value of counter by one they both are so common in programming, especially when using loops. What are loops? Uh, everyday life, we are using repetition structure, for example, every day going to an institute, every day going to school. Uh, programming, sometimes we write statements one time and we want to execute it many times. For example, I want to write hello world 100 times. For five times, I can write it, hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world. But for 99 times, 100 times, 1000 times, what will you do? It's very simple, just use loops, while loop, for loop, do while loop. We will discuss all of them in the next lecture, but today I'm going to talk about the while loop. So, uh, Let's just write a program to find the sum of the first 10 integer digits. What are 10 integer digits? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What if you start from 0, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, till 9. So if you add them, how will you add? You, you, of course, you will write 0 plus 1, 0 plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6. Uh, here I just start from 1, 1 to 10. So you can write it, it's easy, just 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 10. How about if someone asks you to write it, uh, to add from 1 to 100 hmm? or 1000 integers, what will you do? Of course you will need to, uh, you will need to write uh, a code which includes uh, a loop or while loop. You can use any of them, but first let's use the while loop so uh, while actually this is a keyword it check the condition before execution and in case of untrue condition loops end and control jump outside the loop body uh, here this is the syntax while and inside parentheses we are going to give a condition when the condition is true, it will go through the statements and it will execute them. But if the condition gets untrue, then it will not go through the statements. It will go to the next statements, which are outside the bracket. Find the sum of the first 1000 integer starting from 1. So hey, let's just do that. Here is an example, 
we are going to make uh, two uh, variables sum and number sum is equals to zero then number is equals to because it starts from one while number is less than equals to 1000 because we said it should start from one up to 1000 we are going to increment it each time by uh, this one number equals to number plus one we, we can also use the increment so see how the sum of the first one and 1000 integer starting from one is sum so let's just make this program in our dfc plus plus we have two uh, variables one is sum and another is number sum was equals to zero so i'm just going to write it directly sum is equals to zero number number is equals to one because it starts from one so let's just use y inside parentheses we are going to write the condition tell which time it should continue we said number less than equals to 1000 it will add all of them from 1 to 1000 how we have to write it here let's just do it, do it for a sample first let's do it till 10 now I'm just going to write sum is equals to sum plus number yeah sum is equals to sum plus number but then number should be increased number is equals to number plus one you can use this one or guys let me just tell you how to make this as a comment I'm just going to make this as comment so I will use the double uh, double uh, the operator that you use for your divide this is actually a slash and a slash uh, sorry slash or this forward slash this forward slash double forward slash is used uh, to make a line uh, comment now it's our comments but before that I'm just going to write instead of that number plus plus this actually increase my number variable Mm, by one so each time it will uh, take the number value and will add it to the sum let's see what happens if I write C out number what will happen let's check it it will give me what 15 uh, sorry 11 because uh, 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 6 plus 4 is 10 now oh, it made a mistake we started from 1 up to 10 and each time it's plus plus so sum is equal to sum plus number what happened then why what's wrong oh I just made a mistake there should be some we have to uh, put the number sum here uh, so we have to display the sum because we are going to if we uh, give it 5 it will start from 0 to uh, from 1 to 5 if I give from 1 to 10 I have to use it to 10 so now we have the value 55 how about if I use it 5 times so for five times it will be 15 yeah for five times it will be 15 yeah now it's okay that's fine so guys here we also used an increment operator this is actually unary operator because it takes only one operand but arithmetic operator just like plus minus uh, divide multiply and also modulus these are uh, binary operator because they uh, because they take two operands so we also have ternary operand we will talk about that in next lectures so guys this was the while loop first I just uh, wrote the condition till which time it should uh, run the these statements execute these statements here you can also use uh, number equals to number plus one instead of number plus plus no difference that was better it will take 
less time for execution and let's check this one also let's compile and run this yeah 15 this is also the same mm, just the execution it will take a little bit more time but the previous one take less time yeah this one so this was also for commenting you can just make this as a comment uh, when you make a line a comment it means uh, the compiler will ignore it will not compile this one this is only uh, extra information about your program uh, you can write your code you can just write comments after a few years if you come back you will understand that what will do this part so comment will help you so guys uh, see you in the next lecture please subscribe our channel and also introduce it to your friends